All right. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Zakari Autio, and it's nice to be here to talk about industrial symbiosis and, and now a bit about our work in, in Lahti. So, Lahti is a city about 100 kilometers from away north from here. And we suppose we are going to be awarded as a green capital of Europe 2021. The Commission will make the decision in this month, so let's see what happens. So this is our school. It's not really big, big one, but kind of a middle size of University of Applied Sciences in Finland. In next year we will be, we will be combined to Lappen University Technology uh, Consortium and then the size will, you can add there one third in these numbers so that the, the, the school is growing. Um, <clears throat> about our work, at the moment it is so that, uh, that the circular economy is chosen to be one of the main focus areas of the whole university, which is of course really interesting and, and promising to us to keep on working in that area. But like here many have been saying that it would li be nice to have kind of a continuous funding instead of projects, but we are also living in this project, project world. And our circular economy re related projects, the turnover is about 5 million. And now I'm going to tell you a bit more about these three projects. Reiska, Nets and Smarta, which relate directly to, to the topic of the day. So, firstly, Reiska. Um, Reiska started already five years ago and we've been studying industrial symbiosis so quite far. We have visited Kalumborg. We have learned the NISP, we've been studying uh, Synergy uh, database and, <clears throat> and because of we have, we have our kind of a product that's a bit badly said but other students who are going to, who are engineers and, and so on. So we can, we can use students and use them in our projects. So in, in the RESCO project we have used quite a lot of students during, during the three years of it. And we connected, the point was that we tried to find out that how much, what's the potential of industrial symbiosis in our local small and, small and medium sized companies. So we uh, organized courses related to this and the comp students were contacting the companies and finding potential for, for, for industrial symbiosis. So, <coughs> kind of a surplus concrete, plastics, metals and such kind of issues. So, looking like this, looking like this. Uh, concrete from painting industry, you get kind of a sand and but it looks like like this. The, you can e find even kind of a treasures. So if you think about this kind of a refrigerator, here's a glass door to make that. Firstly, you got kind of a uh, top glass steel plate like sized about like this. Then you cut the middle middle part away and then you replace it with a with glass. And that middle part they were not able to use in their own product. So it's it's top class steel with which could be used for in some other other company. Now in this case it went to our recycling system our recycling systems in Finland, they are, they are good, they, they work properly, but they always start by shredding the material. So, so you, you destroy the material value of, of what you have in hand. Then about the, where the money comes, these were 
these storage space issues were in, in, in interesting because if you got the furniture company, it can be so that the, the materials are so good quality that even though they don't need them anymore in their own production, they want to keep them inside. Because otherwise if you take the, the furniture material outside, then you, it's, it's lost. But they don't have any uh, kind of a, any, any market. They, the, the kind of a supply and demand doesn't meet each other. And that's, that's the, the kind of a market problem is there existing. And then <clears throat> about another project. This is our NETS project. This is the main point that seven industrial companies located close to each other. Um, we were specifically looking at uh, energy fractions and they were, they were so that they were interested about to create energy symbiosis between each other. We did also one material efficiency check. Here is check. In Motivas papers you call them material uh, efficiency audit. So, but that's only a word. So here are the companies close, close to each other. It was so that one of these companies was able actually to offer heating energy for all the seven companies. The one option was that they could use uh, the heat which you can get from the ground water uh, sources. And <clears throat> Then this material symbiosis in practice, including 10 companies, mm, it is so that as we heard from Denmark and this Kalumborg story, that it starts, just started in the, 90, in, in the 1960s. And it's the same with these small and medium-sized companies. Then in many cases, if they, if they just can find easily with reasonable costs and effort, a symbiosis partner, they will do that. But they are not really telling about it in, about it in publicly. It's their in, internal information. And, and, and it's the same in this case. They're not in a way keen to tell everybody that we are serving material for 10 companies. So that's the... the how to get the information is, is an is interesting issue. <coughs> then we have this latest Smarta project. Um, where are two main topics. They are here. So we are looking at the material efficiency. And then we are looking at the industrial symbiosis. And we are, uh, we are, bar we are one of the regional fish coordinators. Um, interestingly, there seems to be seven to ten uh, univers universities like we are acting as a regional symbiosis co coordinator. Um, in practice, we started in, in last month, in the beginning of last month, to find the small and medium-sized companies to cooperate with us to do the material, material efficiency audit, because we would like to develop it a bit more suitable for small and medium-sized companies. So, and we are, we are targeting to find fi altogether five to ten, ten companies, but it's encouraging that within a month we got four, four partners already. And there was a question in the beginning that what are the benefits of industrial symbiosis for small and for SMEs and then the cost reduction was one of there. So the, the kind of a clear message has been in the beginning that what this could be for us. So how much euros in the first hand. And the small and medium sized companies we are looking at they have employees between 10 to 250. Now we have companies with 10 
employees, with 20 employees, and with 200 employees. So quite different size. And we are looking for companies whose turnover is more than 2 million euros a year. So we are not looking the, sm the smallest of the smallest, but in a way, kind of a stable business. And then we are doing this coordinator stuff. We are organizing. This is probably going to be circular efficiency workshop seminar on next year uh, spring. So welcome. And we are we are maybe contacting. So how to make this symbiosis stuff and so on working? We probably are contacting the clusters of Lahti. So there's plastic cluster. There's a grain cluster. There is a furniture cluster. We want to involve them in this working. So, because they know each other, they, so they rely on each other, and we try to proceed in cooperation with them. <coughs> so, our lessons so far all learn. So, as mentioned in, in, in Denmark's case, it's a question about learning. It's, it's in a way, it's a question about also kind of a cultural change. So if you get surplus materials, you start to find somebody who could use it. It's a reasonable approach for small comp SMEs, because if you got steel blade, they immediately understood that it's not reasonable to take it into metal recycling. It's in a way reasonable, but it, there could be also something more reasonable. So it's, they easily understand that it would be nice if somebody could use this, maybe we can make some business out of it, but kind of get the material in, in, in use. <coughs> we are, have a thought, we are thinking that we could combine the material efficiency audit and the symbiosis work, because it's, anyway, it's in the audit, we try to cut the amount of waste, to cut the amount of surplus, but anyway, in the end of the day, if they got it, then comes into the picture the symbiosis work. So, so to do, do two things during the same visit. And then this market thing, though the mats making, in, in Lahti there was earlier M-Bank. I don't know if, you, if any of you have used it. But it was difficult, a bit difficult to use because the money transaction was planned to be done through the same service. And then we tried Synergy, but it was a bit difficult also. It's, it's, at that time it was closed. You had the gatekeepers to use it. So, but let's see how, how it works with material inventory. But we are going to base on that in coming, coming years. And then there's been discussing about this permanency of the, re, of the support. So now we are working on a project basis. But hopefully this could be kind of a, kind of a permanently funding, funded activity. Thank you. So this is our team. There's one, Anni Orola is missing. She's also here. So, but three projects, five years. And in next April, we, we are able to tell you more precisely about the, the results. Thank you. <laughs>